Hi guys, it's me again, Lynn from D Lynn Real Life. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, D Lynn Real Life. Facebook is D Lynn and D Lynn Real Life. Instagram is D Lynn Real Life or my personal account, Linda Ampedi. TikTok is D Lynn underscore Real Life. Well, today I would like to uh, address Ghana Educational uh, uh, Service and Teacher Koje. I heard he's been fired. Well, I was watching his live video. And he was saying that he's been given a letter for dismissal. So he's been dismissed from where he's teaching. Well, my question to the Ghanaian Educational Service is why? Why, why, why? What did this boy do wrong? What, does, what did this young man do wrong? The fact that things are not happening according to how it's supposed to happen. And finally, we have somebody who is speaking out. Someone in the system, someone in, in, in that sector, someone in that area who is speaking up for the voiceless, who is being the voice for the voiceless because he is there, he is teaching the children, he is a teacher, he knows exactly what is happening inside out. Finally, th there is a Ghanaian teacher who is bold enough, who has got balls in between his legs, who is... I mean, the boy is so brave. He's got the nerves. And he's standing up for these poor children in these villages or most schools. Those that cannot talk. Finally, Teacher Kojo is, you know, he's out there speaking to the government to get things sorted for the ordinary Ghanaian, as we've always put in it, and it's truly working who is the who is the normal Ghanaian and who is the ordinary Ghanaian and who is the abnormal Ghanaian but there is this saying in Ghana the ordinary Ghanaian like hello ordinary Ghanaian our president is an ordinary Ghanaian our president gone our ordinary Ghanaians first lady's gone sitting first lady uh name it second first lady Vice, we are all ordinary Ghanaians, or better still, just address us as Ghanaians. What is this ordinary Ghanaians? The fact that somebody is a politician or is in the political um, sector does not make that person a superior person. Nobody is above the Ghanaian law. So where from this word ordinary Ghanaian? And truly that thing is it's like getting into people's heads so much that, okay, I'm the ordinary Ghanaian. There are certain things I can't say. There are certain things I can't do as to compare to those people up there. Yes, we've got to give respect to those that respect our due. But I believe each and every person deserves to be respected. Who is the ordinary Ghanaian and who is the top Ghanaian? Who is the abnormal Ghanaian? And who is the normal Ghanaian? Please. We are all Ghanaian. Anyway, fast forward. Teacher Kojo, big ups to you wherever you are. I'm so, so proud of you, honestly. For a young man like you, loving what you do as a teacher, giving it out with your whole body, your soul, your everything. You love the children, your students. You love your teaching job unconditionally, regardless of wherever they posted you, that village, you were still there doing it. And even painting the school with your own pocket money, buying the children books with your own money, buying them pencils, the things that the children needed, you were there providing it with your own money. Why must this man, this young man, why must he be fired? You might have your differences with him or maybe perhaps you, you might have your own personal opinion about him. But me, I'm talking and looking at the broader picture of this whole thing that is going on. Imagine you watching me that is against teacher Kujo's doing. Imagine you being poor in a village, yeah, and your children 
goes to a particular school or a certain school having to sit flat on the floor even when it's raining they are on the floor or they sit on a rock or they've got to bring their own chairs from their houses to the school when rain is falling it is getting them wet in the classroom because it is an uncompleted building sometimes it's even structured with roots imagine you being poor and having a child or children in such schools and having a teacher who is loving his students to the moon and back providing their school uniform because some of their school uniform some of the school uniforms of these students are torn they are is broken like you it's, it's not even right to to put on to go to school with and a teacher takes it upon himself and providing them with a brand new school uniform with books anything equipment of school imagine you being poor and your child happens to be in one of these schools 2021 the teacher would have to draw a computer, a desktop drawing on the board and give them stones to use on the table as mouse. How is your children ever going to learn? How would they ever get to know what a computer is about? And finally, for so many decades, we've had timid teachers Teachers that are scared of the previous government and the sitting government. Finally, we have this young, brilliant, bold man who is speaking for the voiceless children and parents. Only for me to go on social media today and see him come live that he's been given a dismissal letter like seriously Ghana where are we heading towards as a nation where are we going as a country we hate the truth and the truth is one no matter how painful it is it must be told we need to step up as Ghanaians don't sit there and accept the fact that you are being addressed as an ordinary Ghanaian what the hell is ordinary Ghanaian? Who is the abnormal Ghanaian? Who is the normal Ghanaian? And who is the superior Ghanaian? All of us are not above the law, not even our certain president. Not even him is above the law. So why do you sit there and accept the fact that you are being addressed as an ordinary Ghanaian? Teacher Kojo, big ups and i know the heart you have for your job i know the heart you have for your students i know the heart you have for the voiceless and i must applaud you for whatever it is you did the little you did in your own capacity i must applaud you for it big ups to you you've really done well and i am proud of you honestly truth be told Yes, you've had some issues in the past about whatever, whatever, but I'm not even about that. This is me. I, I carry people in my palm and weigh them in my palm and I actually flow with their positive side more than their negative side. He's also a human being. Teacher Kojo is a human being who can make errors, who can make mistakes. So yes, maybe in the past he did some one or two. And mind you, when you are young, you do so many things as a young child. But as you grow along, your brains grow. So you tend to develop and start to behave and do things as an adult. Not everybody with gray hair is smart. So therefore, you can't fault someone who was young then. Even some of our elderly politicians, our elderly people, 
Even some of them, they are the most stupid ones I've ever come across. But we still have to deal with them, fortunately or unfortunately enough. It's all part of this life journey that we have or that we are in. But honestly, teacher could you tap your shoulder and walk with your head up high. You've really fought a good fight. And I know your sweat, your effort, your struggle will not go down the drain. You've actually opened doors for other teachers. You've taught other teachers to be able to be bold enough and speak. There is a saying in our local language, one ton we are here. If you do not sell your sickness, you won't get the rightful med medication for your sickness. He sold his sickness and this is what he gets as a thank you. Like seriously, those of you that issued him the letter, is it because you are gaining from the government or what? Is it because your children are studying abroad or what? Is it because you are blind and can't see exactly what this young man is complaining about and is on about? Those of you, the top hmm, superior Ghanaians, that issued him the dismissal letter, is it because all your children have studied abroad or is it because you had enough money to put your children in private schools? So therefore, this government schools that this particular teacher, Kojo, is talking about, you tend to, to make the whole thing look like you don't even know what is going on. Or you don't want to know what is going on simply because you don't care because none of your family members are there. Come on. It was about time we step up as Ghanaians. 2021 we are in, for crying out loud. Today is what? 19th December 2021. We are almost going 2022. There shouldn't be a single school, and I repeat, a single school in Ghana. That, is so, that children are supposed to sit flat on the floor. That schools are leaking when it rains. Sometimes when it rains, children are being sent home. They can't even learn because there will be a whole lot of flood in the classrooms. There shouldn't be such schools. Children sitting underneath trees, being taught all in the name of their in school. There shouldn't be such schools in Ghana as we speak 2021 because we have a lot of resources in Ghana. We've got uh, bauxite, cocoa, uh, diamond, gold, name it. Our very own president, Nana Ado Dankwa Ekofuado, he said it, yet it's cancel. And so, yes, soon as a year, he knew what he was talking about. Ghana is not a poor country. Even if we are not rich, at this point, 2021, going on 2022, no school, and I repeat, the whole Ghana, no school is supposed to have students sitting on bare floors. It should be a choice that a child go to school and maybe doesn't feel like sitting on the chair. Today I want to be, you know, those kindergarten children in classrooms even here in the uk we've got that all the classrooms have got beautiful chairs but sometimes when the teacher is uh doing the morning uh assembly in the classroom they tend to sit on the carpet on the floor and then they will be mentioning their names linda and then yes ma'am this one yes ma'am you know that is a choice 2021 going on 2022 ghana ain't supposed to have schools that children are sitting in the sand in the rain on on the floor so if teacher kojo is hitting on the point as the superior Ghanaians up there what are you guys supposed to do you've got to tackle the issue that this young man is actually spilling out what are you guys doing you are there suppressing people. Ghanaians, that's what we are known for. PhD syndrome. Pull him down, pull her down syndrome. We love to pull people down, to drop people's spirits, but it shouldn't be. Teacher Kojo, leave those people saying you are depressed. Da, 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 da. 
Even if you, you are depressed about what has happened to you, it's something that you love doing and it's now being taken off you wrongfully. So even if this will give you depression for some time, it is acceptable. It is accepted. Nekoye wu ni ati cha kujo diye. Nekoye ye ni ati cha kujo diye. Koto diye ne bo je. O diye na mkwa nso oba. However, look at this thing from the brother side. We want things to work for the so-called ordinary Ghanaians. Or else, none of our children will grow to become presidents. They will not grow to become something big in Ghana. Simply because our very own beloved politicians, most of their children are studying abroad. Those that their children are in Ghana studying, they pay the school fees in dollars. It's more or less like them studying abroad. Quality schools, that's where they put their children. So in so many decades, finally we get a young man, teacher Kojo, Standing up and speaking out the truth. So they will turn their eyes to those children suffering all in the name of education. What wrong did he do? I've been following teacher Kojo for some time. For a long time, really. When each time he's talking about this educational system in Ghana, he talks with this passion. You can feel the pains he's talking because he is there. He's feeling it inside and out. He's the one wearing the shoes and know exactly how he's pinching him. So someone from within speaking the truth, there is another problem he is now fired. For what? If I don't leave her, I might throw a bomb. But teacher Kojo, I just came here to encourage you. May you grow to be the richest among the rich people in Ghana, if not worldwide. Just to shame that educational system in Ghana. Hmm? The Ghanaian educational uh, service. Just to shame them. How much do you pay teachers in Ghana? And somebody is there struggling, forcing, and making sure he puts smiles on these poor children's faces. And here you are drafting a letter all in the name of you can speak English and type. So you just sat there and drafted a letter and submitted to him that he is fired that's not the end of his life you see the only time me i would have actually felt sad or actually be upset the only time teacher kojo would have actually gave up on life was if he was able to take the air he breathed from him but since he's a it's a job and this guy is a comedian he's got a big platform teacher kojo Use your social media. This day and age, you can make money out of social media. Concentrate. Yes, you wanted the best for your children in that school. The best for your students in that school. But hey, some people just don't want the best for these kids. So leave it. Let the other person continue. You've done your best. Why not? And then we carry on. Yeah? Big ups. My name is Linda Ampedu from D Your Life. Bye, guys.